Yeah, you know, they, they can't be too discouraged by it. Like, how many times have we seen this year, like, Penrith put, like when Penrith are in the mood, really put a score on a team, and you go away going, geez, you know, that team might be struggling a little bit, but then go on a three or four game winning streak. Yeah. I, I, like, I remember Cronulla did it. Yep, Newcastle they, did it. Too. Yes. It went close. And yeah. Then done after that. Penrith beat New, uh, Penrith beat uh, Cronulla about 28 nil, something like that. Yep. And you thought, oh, okay, geez, they're on the ropes, Cronulla. But then Cronulla went went away after that and went played their best football for yep. about a month. And you know, taught, uh, I think Nico Hines came out and sort of said, you know, at that we went away out of that game and watched the game back and went, mate, we played against a red hot side. Yep. And Penrith, um, their attack on Saturday. It was just, it was a masterclass, Cooper. Yeah. They they do so, they do so little settling, settling, or settle runs or hitting points. It yeah. just it just doesn't swap, stop. You know the swing on either side from Nathan. Yep. Um, you know it just and again the way they build their game, Coops. You know they start with the inside balls, yep. inside balls, make the opposition middle chew gas out of their tank, yep. and Cleary. A uh, couple of things with Cleary. It was just masterful, the Liam Martin try in the first half. Cleary gets the ball and we'll talk about those shapes he's playing at the moment. A little shape and goes, half through, lets the ball go on an offload. He's, he's on his ass over the, over the wrong side of the advantage line, putting his boot on as the play of the ball is taking place. Bounces to his feet, takes the ball, no sight time, no reaction time, throws that beautiful ball to Martin. The understanding and the awareness from both players yep. was outstanding. Um, yeah, don't hesitate. Rule number one in finals, yep. don't hesitate. He got up off the ground. And Nathan will get a lot of raps for that play, and so he should. Double up touches, that's what yep. we love about halves. You know, set up a play, get in your hands, get the ball in your hands again. But don't underestimate the combination of Liam Martin. To recognise that wasn't a set play... Just to recognise that his half was going to run and get to a certain defender, and he just took the handbrake off and powered through the hole. Mm. Now a lot of uh, edge back rolls might be a metre back or a metre too wide. We talk about the centimetre perfect time between a half and a back rower. Yep. Well, Nathan was on the deck. Liam Mutt wasn't expecting Nathan to get back up, oh. but he just reacted enough and just went, "I know what my half back's about to do here," and just you know went straight through. Again, yeah, the benefit. And the advantage a side has got when that team and those players have played with each other and came through the sun, yep. they've come through the same system together. They've been ed educated simultaneously. Yep. What an advantage that is! I tell you what, on yeah. Nathan, what about his performance against the Warriors? Yeah, that was one of the best from any player this year. He's just such a classy player, and you can see the difference he makes when he plays in that team. And he just straightens up. He just competes on everything. Yeah. Like he was just compared that time when he fell down on the ground, got back up to set up that try, and I feel like from that moment on they just went on with the game and they yeah. just took it away from him. How do you stop him? All right, let's put you in his shoes. Like as a halfback, what don't you like? So if if you're going to try and stop Nathan Cleary defensively, what would you throw at him? I think you just got to cut down his time, and it's a, it's about it's about I feel like in that team they have got such a good forward pack who lay such a good line for him. Yeah. If you can dominate there and take as much time away from Nathan as possible and limit his time and, yeah. and what he can do because he's just it's like he's got a wand. Yeah. He just waves yeah. it around, waves it around. He's a big, solid runner of the ball as well, so he's hard to tackle. So, um, yeah, just taking his time away from him, but it is hard to do. See, we've said this before, and I think this is probably key for Melbourne. Um, if Luai plays or whatever, I think Nick Meany becomes a very important player in this game because if I'm Melbourne... I'm double teaming Nathan Cleary because he swings both sides of the ruck. Yep. You can see his visual, right? Mm. So I'd be setting the long side or wherever Nathan is first, and I'd just leave one on one defenders with Cogger or Luai yep. or Edwards and say, okay, if you're going to beat me, you beat me, as opposed to letting Nathan have multiple touches, feel like he's swinging that wand around yep. and just you know, cut by cut. Well, Yo Yoey's you know. pretty big for them as well. Yeah. Isaiah, yeah, he's a big reason. He puts Nath over the advantage line and gets him to the four man, three man, wherever he needs to. But it's he pulls the trigger when he needs to. You know what I mean? Like if it's not on for Yoey, he'll just dig it in, get a play of the ball, and then Nath takes off of the back of that. And the one thing I didn't like, and I don't know if this is the same for you, Mitch, is that when you come into a game, a big game, and you're prepared with an inch of life, you know what the other defence is going to do. Then all of a sudden they throw this another thing you haven't seen all week. It takes you 15, 20 minutes yeah. to oh, work yeah. out what they're doing before you get a handle on it. So. Like, I know Nathan watches a lot of videos, so if he sees, like, 
you know, just stationary defenders all the time. He's going to pick you apart. Absolutely. So I think some rushing defence, then some backing off defence, rushing, like mix it up you know a little yourself, bit. You know yourself, Dave, when you go into a game and you're, you, there's certain teams you don't like playing against because they they'll will they take a chance and they'll rush you, they'll come at you outside in. When, when you watch a tape and you're playing against a side that's a passive defensive yep. line, it's just... Yep. Like, and then you see Nathan, like you said before, like he builds his game so well, shaping, dropping off on the inside, dropping off. Then he starts to do the mirror image that, you know. Yeah. He, that's really, that, that's come into his game a lot in the back half of this year. I feel like he, like even that try score on the, on the, the other week, his pace, I didn't think it was that quick. Yeah. Like he just took off and um, I feel like that's really coming into his game a bit. He's not, like he's picking the time when to play slow and then when to just take off and get to a defender and... The, Create the overlap. Uh, exactly. It's interesting. And these, these are all the things and we pick up. And that first try, it was a, a nice set in that first try because we're in commentary going, OK, here come the inside balls. Yeah. Boom, inside ball. Other side, inside ball. About his third carry. Done with the inside ball, short around the back and they score. And that's a problem, right? We're saying, I oh, just jam the middle and squeeze from the outside. But you've got to jam the middle and squeeze every tackle. Yep. You've got to go up and back, up and back. And that's why the machine of Penrith gets you late in the game. Coops, let's talk about the two halves there. Firstly on Nathan, right? Yep. And Nathan's, like, Nathan's a really modest, naturally modest person. You can see that. Like, he's an outstanding bloke. But he hasn't got that overt swagger that Rhys Walsh has got. But I've been watching, it, watching him in the back half of the year. It's in, it, it's in here. Yeah, absolutely. Like he, he can see now the way he holds himself in press conference, the way so he actually knows what a great player he is. Yep. And he knows he's the best. Yep. And that's, we've said this, when you actually do things as a half and get to the age where you understand why it happened, mm. you can. You can carry that inner swagger and know you are the best. The, Thanks. You know, you know, you got it.